You're with us tonight. You know, late last month, we told you about a school shooting plot that was thwarted at South Cumberland Elementary. The key here, a student felt comfortable enough to approach a school resource officer with a tip. In tonight's Behind the Badge, everyone, six on your side anchor, Bo Williams, sitting down with an area SRO to find out really how officers go about building that trust. Yeah, yeah you know, needless to say, the role of the SRO has really become more important as the nation continues now to well, battle the threat of school shootings, right? Well, that's why we caught up with Sergeant Mike Hilton, the o he oversees the resource officer program at several West Knox County schools, including Farragut High School. That's where we sat down with him to talk about building a level of trust with the students he's now assigned to protect. If you were to try to walk in the shoes of Sergeant Mike Hilton, you would soon realize it's easier said than done. He's got the best time. I'm a counselor. I'm, a, you know, I'm a traffic engineer. Every day when I get up and go to work, I really have no clue what I'm going to be doing that day. Sergeant Hilton is wrapping up his second year as a security resource officer for Knox County Schools. A job he knows brings with it a different mindset from the days he used to be out on patrol. It's a different kind of law enforcement. When you're on the road as a police officer, you're trying to determine if a crime was committed or somebody needs to go to jail. To whereas here, everything that you do is focused on the best interest of that child. What the SRO really does is to be a visible presence, to be a deterrent, uh, and also, though, to, to, be, to build relationships with kids, to be a comfort to kids. Uh, and that's where Sergeant Hilton has been, you know, he's incredible. We're not going to ruin this young man's life at the age of 15 because he decided to vape in the bathroom. Um, we want to find out what caused the issue and then find out a way to fix it. And it's that approach that is key to bridging a gap of trust and hopefully keeping school campuses as a place to learn without fear. Relationships are essential in doing this job. You cannot do this job correctly unless you develop a good relationship with these kids. The kids see Parkland, you know, the kids see Columbine. It's reiterated on television and they come to school with that and they have a certain bit of fear. We still want that kid to know we care about you, right? And. and uh, uh, the security officers, they get that. Oh, I guess it's important to get off to a good start. I spend a tremendous amount of time going to extracurricular activities. Baseball games, football games, basketball, soccer, band concerts, choir concerts. Um, and when the kids see you there and you take an interest in what they're doing, then it kind of breaks down the barrier when they see a uniform and they're more apt to create a conversation with you, feel comfortable coming up to you and talking to you about things. You're not there to get them in trouble. You're there to be a resource for them and, uh, and to kind of you know, help them with whatever they need help with. You know, the work these SROs do, so much more than what you see on the surface. As a matter of fact, a new crop of resource officers will begin academy training at the end of this month. It's going to run through the end of the summer, really the end of July, as they prepare now to protect our kids and school employees as they get ready for another school year. And you can just really tell how much he cares about those mm -hmm. kids. He really does. I mean, a great connection with all the kids. Like we said, he just doesn't oversee Farragut. He oversees a number of schools in West Knox County. Boy, what yeah. he and everybody does yeah. in that position is so critical. Yeah, we appreciate them. Yeah. All right, Bo, thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are interested, and looking into becoming an SRO. We do have a link on our website for you. Just look for this story under the Behind the Badge section. And if you know of an area first responder who has gone above and beyond in our area, you'd like to nominate them for our Behind the Badge segment. Have Bo come out, meet them, and feature them. Uh, just email Bo at bowilliams at wate.com.